In this video, you'll see how to visualize AWS CloudTrail logs in Kibana using Amazon Elasticsearch Service. With this service, you can stream log data to an Amazon Elasticsearch Service domain, visualize it in Kibana, and explore it in near real time. Amazon Elasticsearch Service is a managed service that makes it easy to deploy, operate, and scale Elasticsearch domains in the AWS cloud. Kibana is a popular open source visualization tool designed to work with Elasticsearch. To use them together with CloudTrail, let's begin by creating a new trail. In order to specify advanced options, we'll use the full Create Trail workflow. Let's retain the default option to create a new Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3 bucket, to store logs for the trail. Provide an alias for the AWS KMS key that will be used to encrypt the log files. Select the checkbox to enable CloudWatch logs to receive CloudTrail data. Next, provide a name for the AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role that CloudTrail assumes to send events to the CloudWatch Logs log group. Review the policy document for this role and proceed to the next step. Next, specify which events to send to CloudWatch. Note that additional charges apply for data events and insights events. You can send both S3 and Lambda events to CloudWatch. In this case, we'll keep S3 as the only data event source. You can reduce costs and log events by filtering data events to include only specific buckets. For our purposes, we'll retain the default option to send events for all S3 buckets to CloudWatch. Review the settings and create the trail. Now that the trail has been created, let's look at event history. After a few minutes, this screen will start showing all events being logged by CloudTrail. Next, navigate to Amazon Elasticsearch Service to create a new domain. You can choose your deployment type. Review the various settings you need to specify to provision a domain. The details of this process are beyond the scope of this example. For information on creating a domain with Elasticsearch, please refer to the documentation. Let's continue this example using an Elasticsearch domain that's ready to use. You can configure a CloudWatch log group to stream data to the domain in near real time through a CloudWatch logs subscription. This is the CloudWatch log group for the CloudTrail events. Let's select it and create an Elasticsearch subscription filter. Select the Amazon Elasticsearch service cluster we just created. CloudWatch Logs uses Lambda to deliver log data to Amazon Elasticsearch Service. For our purposes, an IAM role that grants Lambda permission to make calls to Amazon Elasticsearch Service has already been created. We'll specify it here. Choose CloudTrail as the log format. Next, let's select the log data and perform a quick test. These results look consistent with what we would expect a CloudTrail log to look like. So let's start streaming the events to our Elasticsearch domain. Now let's return to Amazon Elasticsearch Service. Select the domain to view its details. On the Cluster Health tab, you can review the operation details of this deployment and verify that it is indexing events properly. As you can see, events are being indexed. Let's return to the Domain Overview to sign into Kibana. In this case, we have enabled Amazon Cognito Authentication for accessing Kibana. Your method of accessing Kibana might be different depending on how you have configured your deployment. Select the option to use Elasticsearch Data. Define an index pattern for retrieving data from Elasticsearch indices. We'll just specify a wildcard. Next, specify a time filter field name for the CloudTrail event data. Create the index pattern. Here you can see all the fields in the data being sent from CloudTrail. On the Discover tab, you can view information about events as they are streamed to Kibana in near real time. You can filter the events to different time periods. You can also search through all the events quickly. Let's try searching for all events related to the Amazon S3 service. 
You can also search for more specific information, such as all events containing the word failed. You can expand any event to view additional information. You can also use Kibana to create data visualizations. Let's create a simple visualization of failed events over time. You can save your visualizations. You can also add your visualizations to a dashboard, where you can easily monitor different types of information from one central location. You've just seen how to visualize AWS CloudTrail logs in Kibana using Amazon Elasticsearch Service. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.